welcome to Art at Home with Miss Vanessa. <laughs> Hi friends, this is Miss Vanessa and today we're going to talk about the artist Georgia O'Keeffe and create an artwork inspired by one of her paintings. Georgia O'Keeffe was an American painter. She is considered to be the mother of American modernism. Georgia was born on November the 15th, 1887, in a farmhouse in the state of Wisconsin. Her parents were dairy farmers. By the young age of 10, she had already decided to become an artist and received training along with her sister from a local artist called Sarah Mann. Her professional training started at the School of Art Institute of Chicago from 1905 to 1906 and then at the Art Student League in New York City. In 1921, Georgia painted this painting called Blue and Green Music. She started in the mid-1920s making large-scale paintings of natural forms such as the insides of flowers. This is the style that she was most famous for. In 1924, she painted this painting, Red Canna. To seek out new inspiration for her artwork, Georgia visited New Mexico every year from 1929 to 1949. And in 1940, she moved into a house on Ghost Ranch, North New Mexico. The beautiful cliffs inspired much of her paintings. Georgia had many commissions. She had two retrospective exhibitions. One was in 1946 at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. It was significant because she was the first woman artist to have been given one there. In 1977, President Ford presented Georgia with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. It is the highest award that can be given to American civilians. Georgia's work helped pioneer a revolutionary art movement and show the world that talent and perseverance, no matter your gender or background, will always prevail. In honor of Georgia O'Keeffe and her fascination with flowers, we are going to recreate her poppy masterpiece. For this project, we will need paints in red, yellow, and black, paper, a paintbrush, and a Q-tip. The first thing we're gonna do is set up our palette, and I have a paper plate where I'm going to put the paint. <music> And now I'm going to show you how we're going to paint the petals of the flower. Okay, so I'm going to dip my brush in some red and yellow paint. And we're gonna start from the center. Look, Michael. And we're going to Three, four, five, six. spread out Seven. the colors. And then you'll have something that looks like that. So now our flower is painted, as you can see, and we're going to add black dots in the middle so we can show the inside of the flower. So I'm going to use my Q-tip and I am going to dip the Q-tip in the black paint. And then we're going to add black polka dots in the middle of our flower. And you're going to move that Q-tip up and down to make a bunch of dots. And can I do that now? And there you have it. Let's do this. All right, I will use red first. Okay. Red. These are nice. That's right. And two. <laughs> oh, this is great, Michael. How about we add some of that yellow? I only love red. <laughs> okay, that's your choice and that's totally okay. Oh, that is magic nice and to color and red. Ma magic hurt up to there. Magic hurt I'm starting with the okay, chicken thing, Mommy. I'm just still um, um, putting some um, um, modern color into it. Okay, 
Ooh, now we're adding details to that poppy. Okay, I'm putting dots in it. Bye friends, see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more videos.